Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you six tips on how you can learn the Adobe CS Suite fast. And hey, if it's your first time to this channel, I hope people just like you establish an online presence from scratch. And so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Let's dive straight in. So the Adobe Creative Suite is actually a big package of software which has over 10 programs you can use to create different things. This video I'm actually just going to share with you if you're a beginner, the six tips you can follow up to level up your creative skills with this software. The number one tip to start with is get the software. There's no way how you're best going to learn this software and how you can become better if you don't have a computer with a software. Because yes, you can at the end of the game, you may learn the software and learn how to use a couple of tweaks here and there, but the best alternative is to have the software with you on your computer so that every other time when you wake up, you can easily use the software. And number two, have resources that you can always reference to and learn from. Um, I recommend YouTube and a couple of other tutorials you can follow out there. So YouTube is a great resource that you can always use to learn a couple of things. There are many channels, many videos out there from Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. So it is up to you to go out there and find a platform that you can always use as a resource learning about this creative software. Number three, learn how to prepare your workspace and the tools you need to do a specific job. I always recommend that you learn about the windows you need, the specific tools you always need, or the tools you always be needing. Like in Photoshop, there is a burn and dodge tool. So knowing which tool does what will always make your working out and learning this software very fast. Number four, experiment with projects from friends. There is no way how you're going to learn these softwares and become really good at them without experimenting with real-time projects. I always advise beginners before they even go out to source for paid work, they should go out to friends who have small events like birthdays, like uh, weddings, and ask them for their photos and help them to edit them. Even if like it's to design a birthday card or designing a wedding invitation card, you get that job and start working on it and share with your friends and ask them for their feedback. Feedback from those people will greatly help you learn to do a couple of things including editing and knowing what the client needs and what actually looks good out there. So you should always look out for projects from friends that you can always work on and learn more from them. Number five is actually to redo works from prominent brands. Like redo works from brands that impress you, brands that you love. For example, if you love the Coca-Cola, sit down and redo the Coca-Cola logo. Ask people for their views about your redone work. Ask them what they think about what you did. That process will teach you a lot more and will help you improve your skills redoing works that have already been done because most times you'll get a client who says hey uh, i got a designer did for me this but i can no longer access the designer can you please redo for me this just imagine if you get a job like that and you don't know how to recreate stuff so i think one of the other ways you will actually learn these programs really well is learning by redoing what already exists number six is practice 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 there's no way how you ever learn without practicing I've, when I started out doing video, like recording live here on video, I was so down. I, I didn't have even the confidence to speak on camera. I always got lost of words, but now I just sit down with only lists of what I want to talk about and I'm just flowing. It's through practice. Otherwise, I would have read books. I would have watched videos about, you know, speaking on camera and doing videos. Still, I wouldn't have gotten better. It's about sitting on camera or doing whatever you want to do and then you can get good at it. So. The number one point was to get a computer with a software and the very last point is to practice use the computer try out things keep doing keep doing keep working on projects that way it will make you a better creative and also make you better at this program question about the video which is your favorite program in the adobe creative suite and how best would you want to learn it? I'll be willing to share with you some links to that specific program that you want, and I hope it will bring you value. And hey guys, I hope you found this video interesting and that it brings you value. I'll be so happy to read your comment in the comment box below and hit the like button if you like this video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. See you in my next video.